So yo guys, we are at London Anime and Gaming Con here in London and yo, we're going to be going around seeing what Pokemon cards we can find and first off we've got the bespoke Pokemon uh, and as you can see you've got London World plushie but they need these custom Terraniums I believe they're called with Pokemon figures and stuff and this Umbreon Shiny looks pretty awesome but yeah, they're pretty cool, check them out guys uh, but yeah, pretty cool stuff there and then we've got Card Galaxy, awesome guys here and yo, they got some cool stuff like this 151 binder uh, they got like vintage, modern, loads of different bits and bobs. So whatever you're looking for, they may have it. So yeah, as you can see, you've got the modern stuff. And then you got like 151 singles, maybe for set collectors. And then going over here, you got like Bandai, Y Schwaz, including like Pixar, Disney 100, Star Wars, Chainsaw Man. So they got a few of that. Then we come over here to the Remans Pokemon. These are like collectible figures, blind boxes, like six in a set. If you buy a whole box, you get like a whole set. But they got Lakana, One Piece, Korean, Japanese. And these plushy keychains are super cool, including this one here and you got like the cafe ones and then they got 151 the upc you got the flareon evolution all art box and these cool frame pictures i think they look pretty cool in like your house or something that's pretty nice shout out to card galaxy guys and then we've got dice and destiny so they have some Yu-Gi-Oh. you've got some pokemon just some modern bits here as you can see with the scarlet and violet era packs then you got the new pallion fates above and they got some binder stuff as well including like cool little abra there you got a lot of base at abra and they had some league stuff including fourth to four uh first to fourth place frost last league radiant cards as well uh, you got some level X's, I'm a champ Infernape, you got the rigid gigas, just checking if they're cool, if they're decent I might take, well obviously you had the conditions listed anyways. But yeah, rigid gigas, one of my childhood favourites, but yeah, not too, it wasn't too bad condition, but I didn't grab it in the end. Uh, but yeah, they also had this Electivire level X as well, but yeah, just a variety of stuff, but you got that Raikou from Neo Rev, you got the Secret Wonders Mew, uh, that was near mint as well, but then at this store they had these cool like Pokemon figures, like ghost type stuff, so that was pretty nice. Uh, and yeah, obviously at Anime Con you gotta have loads of animes. You got Chopper, of course, from One Piece, but then loads of these anime figures and a lot more choppers, as you can see. Everyone been loving Chopper since the EB01 uh, Japanese uh, TCG release. But yeah, shout out to Chopper, but yeah, loads of cool stuff. Then you had these uh, Pokemon like posters custom made. These are really sick. The Charizard Luga looks really nice. And then over here they had a variety of stuff. Obviously, Pokemon there as well. You got some Yu Gi Oh! Uh, blind bags and loads of different little collectible blind boxes as well. And then you had these Pikachu beanie hats that were pretty cool. And they had this P a Pokemon vending machine, uh, 50p, and you can get like a random card. And then over here, they had loads of different cards, like these Bandai cards with different licenses and franchises, like Spy Family and stuff. And then a lot more mystery like blind boxes. And these Digimon caught my eye. Like the Digimon ones were pretty cool. Look at that. That one's pretty sick. And obviously at Anime Con, even more anime figures. So yeah, the only one I recognized was the Nami one in the back. But yeah, they had a ton and ton of figures. And they also had these anime costumes. Maybe if you want to cosplay right there and then. And then downstairs, there is the artist alley. And then the floor below that, there was the more dealers here. So more vendors in this hall. Uh, so yeah, in here, we're going to see a lot more Pokemon sellers. At this stall, they had a ton of stuff. Loads of different TCGs, trading cards. They had some Japanese, like Detective Pikachu, Dark Phantasma. Some of the new sets as well. Uh, loads and loads of different TCGs. And then at the back, they had like this WotC deck as you can see requires a box some cool stuff and yeah they had a bunch of stuff loads of singles as well and as you can see you got bulk boxes full of different tcgs and shout out to these guys and boom at next door they had some more pokemon cards so yeah you got some binders slabs and loads and loads of products as you can see paladin fates all the latest kind of scarlet violet releases as well uh and then you've got the upc's collection boxes in the back and yeah in the binder you can see some noivan gx's nice to see some sun and moon ev uh, from Hidden Fates, and yeah, they just had a load of variety of hits in the binders, and they also had some great grader slabs, I don't know if you guys know, great grader by UK Grading Company, and yeah, just tons of different slabs by them, uh, and yeah, just kind of like modern hits, I guess, from uh, recent sets, uh, and yeah, loads and loads of different boxes, including Japanese and Korean packs in the back, and yeah, over this stall now, as you can see, this stall had just like everything. Like I love that Yu-Gi-Oh figure, and they had these mystery boxes for like Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, different animes, different stuff. Like they have a ton of stuff, as you can see. And over here, you got some blisters, Crown Zenith. You got some single blisters as well. And then you can see this vintage Watsi binder. But yeah, they got loads of stuff, loads of Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, Pokemon, and yeah, again, Scarlet Violet releases. But in the binder, they had a variety of stuff. Uh, but yo, you got the decks, you got the tins figures old like these mini binders four pack binders or four card binders and on the inner binder there's vintage binder you got some jumbos and then you got a variety of like stuff like throughout different eras in here as you can see like you got that that awesome espion and valley rainbow which is nice uh and then also you got Yu-Gi-Oh. you got your god cards in the front the blue eyes there and then yeah loads and loads of Yu-Gi-Oh cards as well so as you can see 
And over the next door, they had these custom frames where you tilt your head, it changes. But as you can see, that's the London Pokemon Center 2019 like poster design. Uh, but they custom made it so it like tilts, it changes. But yeah, they had some cars, they had some binders. As you can see, you got some slabs, more get graded slabs. But then they also had some Japanese and Forbidden Light packs there, as you can see. Uh, and then they do it was doing a raffle so you can get some of these some other bits here including this mgc tops chrome pack uh, and then over here guys you had just a binder full of different stuff a variety of stuff this is reggie uh rock really nice crimson invasion pre-release uh card really nice yeah i had to grab that one uh just love my reggies man and uh, yeah the pre-release artwork's always nice uh but yeah variety of stuff in here as you can see you got like your ARs, character res, and stuff like that. And then over here, you got the, like a Minum, you got the Gym Magneton, and this Samurai from Black and White. Love Black and White Hollows with the Hollow. And then this Toxic EX is always nice, nicer, older EX is there. Uh, but yeah, just a variety of stuff shinies, rainbows, training galleries, etc. Uh, can't go wrong, but yeah, that was about it. But the guy wasn't there at the store, so I had to put it back because I couldn't pay for it. So yeah, unfortunately, I didn't pick that up. But they had this guy here, he was performing live, which was awesome, a nice atmosphere down there. And at this store, they had loads and loads of plushies. Look like Japanese plushies. You got all these Pokemon ones, different other ones as well. Uh, look at the cute Pikachu there. And then you got Snorlax, Azumarill, Yampa, the Pichu in the back, Gengar. And yeah, it has some other stuff as well here if you like other franchises and stuff. And then this Pikachu backpack looks amazing. Look like Explorer hat. You actually put it on your back like a backpack. Then they had these mini figures as well. Uh, so yeah, really cool selection of stuff. Shout out to them. And then who remembers Toxic Waste? I haven't had them in ages. I don't want them, but yeah, they had them too. Over here, they had some more plushies. You got some One Piece, Dragon Ball, Pokemon, Luigi there. And then they used to even had uh, evolution packs in there. But yeah, they had binders of stuff. You got tins and stuff like that. But yeah, shout out to Steve the Collector. He was here as well. And yeah, he had some stuff. As you can see, lots and lots of Pokemon. You had some packs. You had your, uh, which called Only Graded, another UK graded company uh, down there. And yeah, he had some Dragon Ball Digimon Japanese packs. So really nice selection there. Uh, and he had some Japanese booster boxes here as well. And he also had like, look, as, as you can see, loads of different variety. And he had this ancient Mew slab and tons of slabs over there as well. But the shout out to these guys, they do amazing rocks. Look at that Noodle Cup one. Absolutely insane with the Luffy. Uh, but as you can see, shout out to the Pankai Bros. So yo, if anyone wants one, check them out guys. But yeah, I was really impressed, man. They look really, really nice in person. And now we go back up to floor one, which is tabletop gaming. So this is a separate floor for tabletop gaming where you can play your board games, card games. You can play with others here, which is pretty cool uh, at an anime con. And yeah, they had Dice and Destiny again here, which had more of a selection here. So as you can see, you got the Pokemon, you got binders of cards. And then they had like Flesh and Blood. You had Lucana, you got the first and second sets. Uh, then you got some Yu-Gi-Oh as well. So you got the Yu-Gi-Oh decks, you got your booster boxes booster packs and then over here as you can see you got your dragon sleeves and stuff and then you got some magic the gathering as well so they got a bit of very tcg and at anime con london they really had a really good selection of voice actors as you can see here i'm not sure uh who these voice actor let me know if you do recognize any of the characters but you'll have like mars who plays someone in call of duty and obviously we're here for erica shoulder as you can see literally most people's childhoods there luffy dark magician may valentine's but yeah dc douglas as well who also played some cool characters and you had robert here who played like do flamingo some dragon ball characters as well so some popular ones and also this person here i forgot to catch their name but yeah he also had tony who was an actor in marvel and star wars which is pretty interesting so shout out to him so you're in the queue for erica now and we're gonna get these cards signed so we got the dark magician and a luffy card so she voice acted the four kids luffy if you are interested uh, and then obviously dark magician girl as well in the anime so I had to get those signed some nostalgic cards I really wanted to get signed in my collection and we also bumped into the legend pokey bath all right what you got I got this that was pulled by KB Jeez. the legend so we're gonna get this signed over there somewhere and yo, shout out to Erica, she was super, super nice. And as you can see, she's voice acted like Eevee, some evolutions, Nurse Joy, and then Pokeball again is OP05, all art, Luffy signed there. And as you can see, we've got the OP06, look at the pen choice as well, the yellow and red really works. And then we've got this Speed Jewel, Dark Magician Girl, and I just picked the Speed Jewel just because of the hollow. And yeah, shout out to Erica for that. Literally been wanting to get these signed for ages, these two cards. So shout out to Erica, and yo, mission complete. Guys, so that is the London Anime Con, and yeah, pretty much, some decent vendors we've been last year literally there's like one two sellers this time quite a good handful of sellers so there's some nice stuff and obviously a variety of anime uh collectibles as well if you like all your animes you know as well as amazing voice actors there are like tons and tons of voice actors from different movies franchises etc which is awesome i've got one that i've been hunting for a while erica i do had one like from years back 
Uh, but I want to get Dark Magician and Luffy signed by her as well. Try to get a, a Luffy signed by like each single voice actor. But yeah, hopefully you liked today's video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Check out uh, London Anime Con for future events. And yeah, guys, like, subscribe. See you next time. Peace.